Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today marks the start of an exciting new journey, one that I'm thrilled to be sharing with you all. We're embarking on the Leet Code 75 study plan, which is a curated list of problems that cover the most coding interview questions asked at top tech companies. As many of you know, the job market, especially in tech, is competitive and having the right skills makes a huge difference. Through these videos, my aim is not just to teach you how to solve these problems, but also to share strategies for dissecting and understanding problems, optimizing solutions, and communicating the th your thought process effectively. These are skills that are crucial for coding interviews. Whether you're preparing for your first tech interview, brushing up your coding skills, or trying to learn new algorithms and data structures, I believe this series will be beneficial for you. I myself am on a journey to land my dream job in tech, and I found these problems incredibly helpful in sharpening my coding skills and preparing for interviews. We'll start with the basics and gradually move towards more complex problems, learning new concepts along the way. I'll guide you through every step and we'll solve these problems together. I strongly believe that the best way to learn is by doing, so I encourage you to try solving the problems on your own first before watching the solution. In the end, remember, as corny as it sounds, that a journey of a thousand miles begins with one step. So today we'll take that first step. Let's jump right into the problem. All right, so as you can see on my screen, this is the uh, Leak Code 75. It's pretty cool right here. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and dive right into it. The first section is array and string, um, with the first problem being merge strings alternately. So um, I checked this problem out in advance. It's pretty, pretty basic. So we should just breeze right through this. Um, so, um, let's walk through the solution right now. Okay, so I think what the best thing to do is to start off by creating a string builder um, object. And we'll use string builder because it's much more efficient when it comes to appending characters or strings, especially in a loop, compared to having to create a string object with every iteration in, in a loop. So uh, let's go ahead and start with that. So we can just call this result, okay. And there you go. That's how you declare a string builder if you've never done that before. All right. And then uh, we need some way of iterating through a loop. So um, we're going to call um, an integer i, um, initialize it to zero, um, and set up a while, a while loop. So this loop will continue running as long as i is less than the length of either word one or word two, which are our parameters. So let's set up that while loop. Okay, so word uh, i is less than word one dot length, or i is less than word two dot length. Okay. And let's get to the meat and bones of it. All right, so um, inside the loop, we check if i is less than the length of word one. If it is, we append the character of index i to the result uh, string for our word builder. So if i is less than word one dot length, all right, we'll go ahead and do result dot append, and then it's gonna be uh, word one char at i, all right, simple. And then we do the same thing. Uh, we can just copy this. We do the same thing with word two. Right? Oops. Yeah, I'll go ahead and fix this. Okay. And then we just got to change this to word two. All right. What am I doing here? Okay, and then of course we need to iterate through the loop, so we just have to increase i with each iteration. That way we can, you know, go through each character in each string. All right, and then so basically what this is going to do is it's going to alternately add each character into the new string builder, right? Um, and then if uh, if one word is longer than the other, then the rest of it is just going to keep getting added after, you know, either word one or word two, uh, its length has been fulfilled. So, um, 
it's pretty it's a pretty straightforward solution i think it's pretty easy to understand i mean you guys can feel free to ask me if you have any questions um about this problem and i'm and i'm more than happy to answer um but anyways in order to finish this thing off all we have to do is return the string builder as a string so it's really easy to do that you just use the built-in two string method so we'll just go ahead and return the result and then you just do two string okay and then we're going to go ahead and run that okay and that's it so this is our solution to the first problem in the leak code 75 study plan i hope that you found this helpful and you can understand the process remember that practice is key when it comes to doing coding interviews so make sure to try and solve the coding problems on your own too if you have any questions please leave them in the comment sections below don't forget to like this video if you found it helpful and subscribe to my channel for more coding problem solutions happy coding and i'll see you in the next video